the, the delegates, and I've talked to them, the, the delegates really aren't listening to the protests. You, you say that the media isn't really covering them or doing it well, so they're not listening to you. But certainly some of the shop owners don't like to have their windows broken uh, by whoever. So why why bother? I mean, why march the streets of the city if they're <laughs> campaign put out there. Why protest? Why take to the streets? And yeah, who's your audience? Check this out. It's the march for our lives. How about that? You know, they're the terminology. A closed mouth don't get fed. We're not going to keep our mouths closed. We're not being fed already. <laughs> so with the last breath, last ounce of energy, I like to expand mine and expose the crimes and crimes against humanity that's committed in this country every day. You see, America pride itself on being one of the biggest human rights defenders in the world. That's why we in Iraq, Afghanistan. They said our human rights abuses taking place. You know, I come from a family and a culture, an American tradition that says, you take care of home first. Well, you go looking at what's wrong with your neighbor house, why don't you fix up your house? You see, in all these marches these last couple days, in every march, you heard one thing that was in unison. It's about the war in Iraq, about the budget being expended in Iraq, could alleviate poverty in America, it can house homeless people in America, but that's not being reported. Never will it be reported. Can they justify it that way? They justify $50 million with one image. What was locking up one protest? It was necessary. And let me say this to you, because somehow I didn't get the chance to say this. I want the media to do it. <coughs> what was the charge? that they charge most of these people with. Conspiracy. Conspiracy. I thought, you thought to do something. <laughs> do the conspiracy charge. Let's look at the main charge they're really trying to stick. Secondary furtherance of terrorism. When did that all come into place? 2002. Hmm, when you got the 9 11. Did you say there's a war on terrorism? Well, there's a war on American people right now. Because I'm confused right now what a terrorist looked like. I'm really confused now. So this is what I, I, I decided to do for now. You see this? <laughs> you, know, you, you, took a turban, you took a turban to be a terrorist. Yeah. I encourage every American to do this for now. Are you shot, taken, killed your ass? Besides shooting this your American government? Put a handkerchief around your face, you become a terrorist. See, see we have stereotype terrorism in this country now. <coughs> yeah, I, 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 I 